the road is closed. I think some kind of a president is coming. I don't know, guys. Today I have a plan to see the central market, which is 100 meters away from here. Also, King's Palace and Silver Pagoda, at least, those places. So this is the center of the central market. It's one of the biggest markets. I think it's the biggest market. Huge area around with anything like uh, jewelry, watches, techniques, a lot of clothes like uh, t-shirts, shirts, pants, anything. It's not so crowded as I have expected. In Vietnam, for example, all the markets are too crowded. It's not so bad. <laughs> Silk scarves. So if you are looking for some clothes to buy, or bags, or anything you want, actually you can find like everything here. So if you are looking to buy something, you can come to the central market and you can get anything you want here. And surely on the central market you can find the fresh fish, seafood and other stuff like this. But look at those guys. <laughs> nice. So if you're looking for some fresh guy fresh seafood, that's the place. Also a lot of vegetables and fruits. So, Central Market is definitely the place to visit if you want to buy anything. Where are those? Oh! Interesting. <laughs> How to eat it? Can I try one? Can I try? How? Have some fun. How to? How do you open them? So you just eat it? Oh, okay. You eat something from the inside. Oh shit. Okay, thank you. It is really salty. Spicy also. In my country everyone eats the sunflower seeds. And in Cambodia it looks like everyone eats the seashells. As Central Market was really close, I decided to visit the Buddhist temple called Wat Phnom. So it looks like to enter the Buddhist temple you have to pay one dollar per person, not only for tourists, like. <laughs> it's not much, but paying for, for a Buddhist temple, really? Hmm. And this is Phnom Penh night market, <laughs> but looks like I missed the time, so next time. <laughs> I'm a little bit hungry, so I decided to find some local place to eat. Looks like I found a local market with the meat <laughs> and vegetables and fruits and anything. So it's just a local market for locals. Looks like this could be the place. This stuff cost me one dollar. And it's delicious. Hmm. Nice. Looks like King Palace is still closed. It's opened 2 p.m. only. So it's like uh, 20 more minutes. Okay, 25 more minutes. And then they will open it. And we've got a lot of travelers here who don't know if it's open or not. And the officer is closing the gate. We're not allowed to go in. We're not going in. But nobody speaks English, so... <laughs> if 
happening? Anyone speaks Cambodian? Yeah, take out there. Okay. <sighs> One of the most expensive places I've visited so far in Asia. Ten dollars. Oh, the area is really clean and green. <laughs> Nice one. Oh, the area is huge. Some parts of the King's Palace are closed and they're on reconstruction so you're not allowed to visit them right now, maybe later, but not today. You have to know guys that you have to cover your shoulders and cover your knees because you wouldn't be allowed to go inside unless you cover them. So guys I just walked around the King's Palace area and Silver Pagoda area and even though some parts of it are closed it's worth it. It's amazing to see and understand how beautiful and gorgeous architecture they are using for all this stuff. All these beetle buildings, look at those. They're amazing. So it was ten dollars. Yeah, it's definitely worth it, guys. This cat is huge. Hey. Hey. Oh. I think that's all of my Phnom Penh adventures. Uh, today is my last day here, this time. But anyway, tomorrow I'm leaving for a city called Kampot. <laughs> I was looking for a, a volunteer in there, but nobody wants me apparently, so I will just travel and enjoy my trip, guys. So that's all for today. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.